Welcome to Tom's Hardware. I'm Caroline Dunn, and today I'll show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into an object recognition machine. What is object recognition and why are we making one today? Great question. In this tutorial, we will train our Raspberry Pi to identify other Raspberry Pi or other objects of our choice with machine learning. An example of an industrial application in place today for machine learning is identifying defects in circuit boards. As circuit boards come off an assembly line, the machine can be trained to identify a defective circuit board for troubleshooting by a human. Let's start with a quick demo of how the final project works. I've got my Raspberry Pi 4 hooked up to a webcam and I am at my internal IP address and I am looking at what my webcam is looking at. Right now it is an artificial plant and I have entered in about eight items that I want my Raspberry Pi 4, my model to be able to identify and I wanted to identify this as a plant and check it out it is 96 to 98 percent confident that this is a plant let's see how it does with a Raspberry Pi 4 I'll swap that out in front of my webcam here's my Raspberry Pi 4 and it is 89 to 83 percent confident that this is a Raspberry Pi 4 Excellent. I'm going to show you how I created this project, but the full instructions are over on Tom's Hardware, so check it out. For this project, I recommend using a Raspberry Pi 4 and a webcam, although a Raspberry Pi 3 and a Pi camera will also work. If you want to use the Raspberry Pi 400, you'll need a USB webcam since the Pi 400 doesn't have a ribbon cable attachment. We'll use Edge Impulse to create and train our machine learning model and Bellina Cloud as our operating system on our Raspberry Pi. The folks at Bellina Cloud built an API to Edge Impulse and a beautiful GUI interface, thus eliminating all the tedious coding for this project. You'll also need two to three objects to train your model. Get started, we'll go to edgeimpulse.com. If you don't already have an account, it is free to sign up for an account. I already have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in right now. And you can see my already created project. Now, it's not gonna look like this when you first start, but you will start on the dashboard. And the first thing you wanna do is click on data acquisition. You want to put in your data. You wanna put in the items that you want it to be able to identify. All right, so I've got eight items and I've got 225 photos. Now I'm gonna hit show options here and this is how we're gonna capture our information. I can upload my photos or I can use my mobile phone. So I think I'm gonna go for use mobile phone. All I have to do is click show QR code and then I can open up the camera app on my phone and then edge impulse and it takes me right to my browser. I am going to hit collecting images. I'm gonna give access to the camera. I'm going to allow, and here we go. So what I'm gonna do is there's a label. I'm gonna type in Raspberry Pi 0W. I'm gonna hit okay. And here is my Raspberry Pi 0W. I'm gonna take a few pictures. And we really recommend taking at least 30 to 50 photos of every item from different angles. And we wanna turn this around. And as I'm capturing them, they automatically get uploaded to my Edge Impulse account under data acquisition. If I go back to my data acquisition page, I now have 237 items. I can click on each item and I can see the photo that I just took. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to create an impulse. Now, mine's already created, but I hit add a processing block and I hit add for image and then that uh, popped up this image box here. Next, I hit add a learning block. I chose transfer learning images. I hit add and that popped up this box and then I saved my impulse. Next, I'm gonna go to image and from image, I'm gonna hit generate features. And all I have to do is hit generate features. And we have finished generating features, excellent. And now we can move on to transfer learning these are the default settings minus the data augmentation. I did click on data augmentation, and now I'm gonna scroll down 
and hit start training. And this will take a couple of minutes as well and we will wait for it to finish. Our model has been created now. I'm going to scroll down and it is 83.3% accurate. Let's test this out. We're gonna go into model testing and I'm going to select all items. I'm gonna classify selected and it's gonna tell me how accurate the model actually is. The testing is showing that it is 84.21% accurate and if you scroll down here, it will show you which items it correctly identified, which is everything in the green, and which items it did not or was uncertain about each item. And these are in the red. In a real test, how it did. All right? It's not perfect. Let's just be honest. But this is a great example of how machine learning works. If you add more samples for each label, for each item, your results should get better. If you have a lot of very similar looking items and you don't have very many samples, yes, it will not be as accurate. Now we're going to go to deployment. We are going to deploy our model we just created and I'm gonna select web assembly and I'm gonna scroll down and all I have to do now is hit build. And it will take a few minutes for this to build. We will wait for this to finish and I'll be right back. Excellent, we have deployed to our WebAssembly library. Now, let's go over to our Bellina dashboard. You will need a Bellina Cloud account. It is free to create your Bellina Cloud account. I already have a Bellina Cloud account. I'm just gonna hit login. In the Tom's Hardware tutorial, there is a magic link that will take you exactly to the Bellina Cam Tiny ML application. Now, all you have to do is click create application from here and you will be taken to the Bellina Cam Tiny ML. Now, when you start, of course, you won't have any devices. I've already put three devices on here because I was testing to make sure it worked with Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 400, and the Raspberry Pi 3. As tempting as it is, this is not the time to hit add device. We need to go over and create our service variables first. That is the API call between Edge Impulse and Bellina Cloud. We're going to add two variables. As you can see, I've already created my variables right here. The first one is the API key and the second one is the project ID. All you have to do is hit add variable and we're gonna choose the service Edge Impulse Cam. The name is going to be EI, API key. Now, where do I get my API key from? That's a great question. We're gonna go back over to our Edge Impulse tab. We are going to go to our dashboard and we're gonna hit keys. And sure enough, here's our API key. We'll copy and paste that right over into our value and click add. I've already done that right here. Next, using the same process, we're gonna do add variable. We are going to do Edge Impulse inference and we're going to do project ID. Now what's our project ID? We're gonna go back over to the dashboard. We're gonna to go to project info and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find our project ID right here and we're gonna copy and paste that into the value and we're gonna hit add. So as you can see, I've already completed that and now we can go back and we can add a device. For devices, you actually have a lot of choices. For Raspberry Pi though, you have Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, and Raspberry Pi 400. I'm gonna select Raspberry Pi 4 for right now. Uh, OS type, we're choosing Bellina OS, that is the default, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave version default, the latest version. Now I'm gonna hit development, and with Wi-Fi, you'll need to enter in your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password as well. And once you've done that, you can click download Bellina OS and that will download a zip file on your computer. We recommend that you use Bellina Etcher with this project. It is a free download from bellina.io slash etcher. And we're gonna hit select image. We're gonna select the zip file that we just created, open. And then we're gonna hit select target. And I'm going to insert my micro SD card here into my computer. And there it is, select my micro SD card, hit continue, and then I will hit flash. Excellent, our flash is complete. Now I can remove the micro SD card from my computer, and now I can pop in my micro SD card into my Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to attach a webcam and then power up my Pi. And once you have your Raspberry Pi powered up and attached to a webcam, now 
I can refresh my Bellina Cloud dashboard and I can see if it is online and I do see it is online. Now, the very, very first time you do this, it will take quite a while. It is going to go through quite a long 20 minute update and then you'll see it come online. And once you see that it is online and there are no more updates, then you can click on it and you can find your local IP address and you wanna copy your local IP address and then go over to another window, another tab, it will load. And now you can see my camera is on my Raspberry Pi Zero and it is 53% confident that it's a Raspberry Pi Zero W. It's constantly looking at the image. That is it, that is the initial project. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll try this project at home. For Tom's Hardware, I'm Caroline Dunn.